and welcome to Art High Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do glass cutting of empty bottles, whether they be wine bottles or a favorite bottle you've saved, antique bottles. You can cut them and then recycle them as a planter, candle holder, vase, or actually a tumbler for drinking from. As in all projects that I share with you, it takes a little bit of practice to get it right. And glass cutting bottles is no exception. I tried a number of different processes to cut these bottles. I will show you two that I did, but I did try a couple of other procedures prior to filming that really did not work well. There's no need to include nail polish remover and fire to cut your glass. This method uses only hot water from a kettle, cold water from a refrigerator, a very inexpensive glass cutter from any local hardware store. You'll then need some sandpaper to sand your cut bottle. And after that, it's up to you what you're going to turn it into, whether it be a planter, candle, vase, or tumbler. To start with this glass cutting session, remember to have gloves, safety glasses, and a mask. This wine bottle with a lovely cut flower on the bottom is what I'll be using. You'll need a hard surface and a hard side ledge to put pressure again. Using this very inexpensive glass cutter, you'll hold your glass bottle very steady against the ledge where you're sitting your glass cutter. And push the glass cutter to score the glass all the way around. It's important that you do not go back over the same line twice, as this will cause an irregular break in your glass. Next, you'll put tape all around the bottle uh, above and below your scored line. This helps to protect the bottle from the heat and cold temperatures, trying to get that change of temperature only on your scored line. Using hot water from a kettle, pour it directly on the scored line and rotate around the whole side. You'll start to see the scoring line separating a bit. Now, using cold water out of the refrigerator, do the same, and after several attempts, the bottle will break. The tape you use can be anything that you have available to you. I'm not even convinced that it's really necessary, but I did do this and it, I think it helped. Continue to repeat hot water and cold water as many times as necessary until the bottle breaks. You will start to see the scoring line widen prior to it breaking. depending on what type of tape you decided to use, it will begin to come off, and that's okay. The scoring line will continue to crack a bit, and you'll see a little more space the more you repeat this process.
tape is beginning to loosen off, which is fine. I'm going to continue repeating hot water and cold water along this scoring line. You can see the scoring line starting to get wider in this picture. But I notice there's a crack above the scoring line, and that's not what I want to see. I'm tapping to see if perhaps that will release the cut. It's not ready yet, so continue to repeat the process. You can hear subtle cracking in your bottle, so you know it's beginning to happen. And it's the change of temperature that causes the weak area, the area that we scored, to break. When we're scoring, we're not trying to cut. We're just trying to weaken the glass in that area. It's finally broken, but I can see that I have a piece of glass above so I'm going to repeat the process on that small piece to break that off. Patience is the key. And here we have a much better cut edge. I think it's still a little rough because my scoring was not really accurate. I did go over some areas more than once. So this is my second bottle, and I was much, much more careful with the scoring, being careful not to go over the line a second time, and also making sure that the line met on, the, on both sides so that there was no break in my scoring line. This one happened so much more quickly. It might be a different quality of glass. It might be my improved scoring. I'm really not 100% sure, but it did result in a better cut and a much better final project. You can see the tape is falling away, but that's okay. You can also see the scoring line getting wider, which is exactly what we want to notice. Second time I put hot water on it, it broke away. This is the original cut. Not too bad. There's one spot here with a, a bit of a, a break in the top edge. I think that's where my two scoring lines came together and they weren't quite as smooth as I thought. This is 60 grit sandpaper. Put water on it to reduce or eliminate any glass dust and simply sand with equal pressure on all sides of the glass. You can already see that it's much smoother than it was. I'm going to continue with the 60 grit sandpaper, wearing gloves of course, continue trying to file down some of the rough edges. Once I feel like I've done what I can with this sandpaper, I will move to a 220 grit sandpaper. 
adding water again and continuing the same process. I will then do some fine sanding with a 300 grit sandpaper and for more polishing I could even move on to a 400 grit for a really nice smooth finish. This final project still needs a little bit of 300 grit sandpaper. It can be used as a tumbler, a flower vase, or a candle holder. Imagine making a whole set of matching tumblers using this process and a favorite bottle design that you may have.